How is my flock? This is Pastor Kent with you, and this is Elohim's Temple, and this is Bible Study with Pastor Kent. We're continuing our Bible study, and we're going to Genesis chapter 9. Let's have a word of prayer. Eva, thank you for being here with us. Bless, guide, strengthen my words, that they may prick spirits and unharden hearts. And I say these things in Yeshua's name. Amen. So, <laughs> we are going to Genesis chapter 9. It's slow, but sure, but we are, we'll get through the Bible within a, a, a little bit, you know, it may take a while, but, you know, that's part of it. So we're looking today at Noah coming out of the ark and beginning to start to repopulate the earth. God bless Noach and his sons said to them, be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth. The fear and dread of you will be upon every animal every bird in the air, <coughs> every creature populating the ground, and all fishes in the sea. And they had been handed over to you, even moving, every moving thing that lives will be food for you. Just as I gave you green plants before, now I give you everything. So on the ark, all they had to eat was leafy stuff. So there was no sacrifices made, there was no uh, killing made, as the movie depicts in Noah, so it's not true. Only flesh with its life, which is its blood. You are not to eat. So they are not to eat the blood thereof. So therefore, when they uh, kill something, they have to drain it of blood because they cannot eat that because according to what uh, L said, it's against the, the uh, commandments. I will demand to every animal and every human being, I will demand from every human being an account of life of his fellow being, human being. Whoever sheds human blood by human bring will his own blood be shed. Thus, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But you have to read the whole thing. For God made human beings in his own image, and you people be fruitful, multiply, swarm on the earth, and multiply it. So, <coughs> so are you saying, Pastor Kent, that there was only a numerous amount of people on the earth after the flood? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Okay. Um, nobody created a boat and floated and was able to, uh, you know, uh, no, that's not right at all. Um, so you need to get that right, right now. God spoke to Noah and his sons with him and said, as for me, I am herewith establish my covenant with you, with your descendants after you, and every living creature that is with you, the birds, the livestock, and every wild animal with you, all going out of the ark, every animal on the earth, I will establish my covenant with that never 
will all human beings be destroyed by the waters of a flood, and there will never again be a flood to destroy the earth. God added, and there will never again be a flood to destroy the earth. God added, here is the sign of the covenant I make between myself and every living creature with you for all generations to come. I put my rainbow in the cloud. It will be there as a sign of the covenant between myself and the earth. So you understand how important that is? Do you see how significant that rainbow is? Um, why do you think the LTBG community uses the rainbow? Because it's God's covenant with us. So why would they not use that? Therefore, I bring clouds in the earth, and the rainbow is shown in the cloud. I will remember my covenant, which is between myself and you, and every living creature of any kind. That includes us, and the water will never again become a flood to destroy all living beings. The rainbow will be the cloud, so that when I look at it, I will remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature and any kind on the earth. <coughs> so, L is talking about small, medium, and large. L said to Noah, or Nutch, this is a sign of the covenant which I have established between myself and every living creature on the earth. The sons of Nutch, who went out from the ark, were Shem, Ham, and Ephat. Ham is the father of Kinian. Those three were the sons of Nutch, and the whole earth was populated by them. Nutch, a farmer, was the first to plant a vineyard. He drank so much of the wine that he got drunk, lay uncovered in his tent. Ham, the father of Kinian, saw his father shamefully exposed, went out and told his two brothers. Shem and Ephet took a cloak and put it over both their shoulders and walk backwards went in to the covenant covered their naked father their faces were turned away so that they did not see their father lying their shameful exposed so as you see that being naked in public is a wrong thing being drunk on strong drink is wrong. When Nutch woke from his wine, he knew what the youngest son had done to him. So his youngest son made fun of him and laughed at him and mocked him. He said, Cursed be Kinian. He will be a servant of the servants of his brothers. Then he said, Blessed be Adonai, the El of Shem, Kinian, and be their servant. May God enlarge Ephet. He will live in tents of Shem and Kenyan will be their servant. After the flood, Nutch lived 350 years. 
In all, Noah lived 950 years. Then he died. <clears throat> May God bless the reading of his word. Do we see how important family and genealogy is from this? We should. All right. It's very important that we protect our parents and not laugh, mock, or make fun of our parents. It's very important we do that. How can we do that? By saying the sinner's prayer. It goes like this. L, I know I'm a sinner, and I'm sorry for the sins I've committed. I know my sins has put distance between I, us, and I. Now I can ma cannot sell, save myself. Only through your son, Yeshua, can my me can I be saved and eliminate the distance between us I believe that he is your son who died on the executioner's cross for my sins and rose again from the dead I receive him right now as my Savior and accept your offer of forgiveness and everlasting life. Thank you, Abba. In Yeshua's name, I pray. Amen. Let me be the first to welcome you to the family of El. It is virtually important that you find a local congregation to ensure that your life is in Yeshua's grows. If you're in Moncton, you can look me up. If you're in the States, you get to San Antonio, Texas. And there's a church there called Heaven's Gateway Church. And that's the church you want. Um, that's the only ones we have right now. Um, or you can always be in touch with us here on um, through Heaven's Gateway Ministries. We're on Blog Talk Radio uh, seven days a week. Um, perhaps you are unconvinced about your salvation through Yeshua. But he promised in with El's help to anyone who seeks to know the truth. John 7 verse chapter 7 verse 17 says if anyone chooses to do El's will he will find out whether my teaching comes from El or whether I speak my own Yeshua offers himself as a gift to anyone who trusts him in John 20 Verses 24 to 23. We pray you come to trust him soon. Please let us know <coughs> how we can help in your search for the truth. You can get me here on Facebook or you can notify me through my email at kenthopper.lives.ca the church's email is heavensgateway at outlook.com please take a moment and let us know you prayed the prayer of salvation stay strong in your faith and enjoy the blessings of Adonai um, if you're here with me um, please make sure that you uh, notify us because the next thing that you need to do is publicly acknowledge him um, and you can do that um, 
by calling the most of the week, 746-716-7958 and pressing 1 and coming live on air. God bless you and take care. <coughs> Abba, thank you for being here with us. Bless God, strengthen these words. May they prick spirits and unhardened hearts. And I say these things in Yeshua, Yeshua's name. Yamen.